Hey guys, Rookie Lock here, back once again. I hope everyone's having a great day as always. And uh, today I'm gonna pick this uh, really cool uh, old BKS round cylinder or rim cylinder. Um, I believe if you look these up, they actually in German they call them uh, round cylinders. So uh, yeah, we'll pick this. And there's a couple notable things about this that I'll um, talk about hopefully after I get it picked. Um, so let's chuck it up in the vise. Yeah, so BKS makes makes some pretty friggin' cool locks. Um, they have some pretty unique locks, and they have some some really high security stuff too. So, great company. Um, and this lock looks like it has pretty crazy bidding for uh, five pinner, I believe. One, two, three. Yep, five pinner works really good. And uh, let's see what we can do with it. I know we're going to need a deep hook at some point with this crazy bidding. So I'll get my my deep hook out. And I might start with, with a really shallow hook. I like this uh, offset hybrid for, uh, for these keyways. So. so a little turn on the core there. And I know, I know when to switch hooks when basically the lock's not talking to me anymore, not giving any more feedback. I can't tell if that's counter rotation or not. Let's see. I think I might just, and and this is pretty damn deep for a eel keyway so let's let's see what we can do oh we dropped a bit deeper there and we're getting definite definite counter rotation I think we got it set um, having a hard time to get under what is it three or four oh we dropped something Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Ooh. I think we're on four, nothing. Hmm. Really hard to get under three, I believe it is. Hmm. No real good sets yet. Okay, let's release a bit of tension and Oh, now we can't get under one. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we got a deeper fall set. It might give us something to work with. Um I think this is one. That's kind of far back for one, might be two. Hmm. Okay, that's one. Got it. Nothing on two. Oh, I touched something where you went deeper. Wow, oh, hard to feel anything. Uh, 
Okay, three, I believe. I think we got it. Okay, we touched four, I believe, and we went deeper. I think this is four. Mm, come on. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Back on three, I believe. Yeah. And there we go. Wow. Wow, that's a. I have to say, that's a really fun, fun lock to pick. Um, one thing that is my weakness is uh, drastic bidding on uh, keyways like this. So that's a. It's a really great lock. Uh, let me put some of this stuff away. Keep this in frame. And I'll talk about uh, talk about some interesting uh, features of this lock. Okay, we already got a uh, got the right bit in here. So, like I said, this is a rim cylinder, and uh, they're usually like double rim cylinders: a key inside and a key outside, and Maybe I'll post a video to, uh, I think Potty314 did one maybe a little while ago, where to disconnect the front cylinder from the, sorry, to disconnect the outer cylinder from the inner cylinder. Oh, I have to turn it the opposite way. Let's, let's do that. Ooh. So... I hope you can see here on the bottom of the keyway the the plug is actually bigger on the outer cylinder and when you turn it right there there's a there's a hole that opens up and when you go in that hole with a, a wire or something it's up on an angle like this when you depress that there is a little half moon almost like a, a locking pawl on a padlock as you can see right here down this down this hole on the left so when you poke that in with your wire that uh, retracts and allows the two cylinders to be uh, detached from each other so I thought that's really really cool I'd love to, to have one of these complete with the uh, two cylinders but uh, yeah, really fun pick. I'm glad I had the chance to pick this. Another lock from Noctis Modus, I believe. Little five pinner. Little innocent little five pinner. Really great bidding on this thing, wow. As we already knew from the key, of course, but uh, there's your key again. And let's see what kind of spools this thing has. One's a standard steel. Wow, I <laughs> love these things. Two's a uh, Great big long ass spool. Three's a standard. Four is a spool. And five is a long ass spool. <laughs> so look at these friggin' things. These are awesome. And uh, actually, looks like the key pins are tapered as well at the top. So hence some easy oversetting. And uh this like I said, this face on the outer cylinder, the uh the outer cylinder on the door, this face is bigger to accommodate basically so you can still have the key in and you're still able to get your wire in there and separate the two cylinders if 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 need be. Um but yeah, really nice. Uh, you can tell that 
that it's pretty good tolerance is just by the the plugs really nice and round and no really ugly edges, no chamfering, no uh no crap machining. And same on the uh same on the Bible there. So yeah, really, really cool lock. I'm super happy I had the chance to pick it. Actually, uh, great, uh, great practice for me to, um, ooh, great practice for me to uh, pick a uh, lock with great bidding on uh, somewhat restrictive keyway. Obviously not the most restrictive keyway, but uh, a keyway that I have uh, a bit of trouble with sometimes. So, uh, yeah, as always, guys, appreciate uh, everyone's support. Um, appreciate everyone's comments. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again, guys. Take care.